This year, Horwin, an electric mobility manufacturer primarily known for making city-oriented scooters and lightweight electric motorcycles, has showcased a product that looks like nothing they've ever done before. The project, Sedmenti Zero, also known as the Urban Adventurer, is a battery electric vehicle that combines the qualities of a maxi scooter and an adventure motorcycle. The model is equipped with a 400 volt powertrain that features a mid mounted PMSM motor and a 16.9 kilowatt hour battery unit. 74 kilowatts of peak output and 659 pound feet of peak torque are transferred to the rear wheel via a Gates belt drive system. Such powertrain parameters enable you to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds and reach the maximum speed of 125 miles per hour. The manufacturer suggests that the available battery capacity would let you travel for up to 185 miles with an average speed of 55 miles per hour. Moreover, owing to the use of the 400 volt architecture, the scooter can restore 80% of the charge in about 30 minutes. Besides placing a great emphasis on performance, the manufacturer introduced a host of smart features like ADAS driving assistant, AI safety notifications, uphill assistance, hill descent control, blind spot detection, forward and rear collision warning, and much more. Yet another useful feature is the ability to turn your two-wheeler into a mobile power solution. You can use the scooter's built-in battery to power electric appliances while camping, working outside, or during a blackout. Just like Elon Musk with his upcoming Cybertruck, the Brooklyn-based Infinite Machine Company wants to prove that automotive designs with angular body lines and brushed aluminum finishes are not only reserved for the DeLorean times. This young mobility company has spent years developing a truly remarkable product. The P1 electric scooter is not only supposed to turn heads, but also will change the way you commute around the city once and for all. The model has a black and silver angular body and vertical striped headlights worthy of a sci-fi movie scene. In terms of performance, the P1 is more down to earth and offers performance comparable to a 125cc motorbike. It is brought into motion by a 6 kilowatt rear hub motor that has a turbo boost feature, unlocking 12 kilowatts of peak power output and the 55 mile per hour top speed. In its base configuration, the model is equipped with two 72 volt 30 amp hour battery packs suitable for up to 60 miles of continuous riding. However, if you want to travel for longer distances without looking for a plug, you can optionally install two more battery packs on the scooter's modular platform. Besides holding extra batteries, the platform could be used for carrying cargo racks, a boombox, or a trailer. The P1 scooter is equipped with a large touchscreen control display with Apple CarPlay built in. Besides the CarPlay, you can also get an infinite machine app that lets you remotely track unlock or immobilize the scooter to prevent theft. At this year's EICMA exhibition, Vmoto showcased the results of their collaboration with Pininfarina. Vmoto scooter manufacturer and Italy's renowned design firm developed the design for a future electric maxi scooter. At this time, this scooter is referred to as the APD concept. Since Vmoto already has quite some experience in developing battery electric powertrains, they resorted to Pininfarina's experience in creating attention grabbing futuristic designs. Moreover, besides being futuristic, the APD's design is functional. It was tweaked according to the data collected after numerous aerodynamic studies. As a result, Vmoto execs emphasize on the two-wheeler's superior aerodynamic qualities and refer to this design as one sculpted by the wind. The APD concept received a muscular profile with complex interweaving surfaces, blue and white color gradients, and LED light accents. Even though the design of the APD concept looks stunningly futuristic and capable of luring more maxi scooter riders towards zero emission transport, we don't quite understand why Vmoto execs are referring to APD as their first maxi scooter model. Last year, we talked about CT3, an 18.6 kilowatt strong maxi scooter that Vmoto was supposed to bring to the Asian market back in 2022. 
so it could be that APD concept will be the first internationally available model, unlike the Asia-bound CT3. This year, one more Italian legacy scooter manufacturer has announced plans to embrace electrification. Just like Vespa in 2018 and Piaggio in 2021, Lambretta has announced its electric scooter at this year's EICMA exhibition. Despite looking into the future and introducing new technology, the brand is sticking to its roots and giving its two-wheeler a modern yet retro-inspired look with angular lines. Unlike its Italian counterparts that produce city-oriented models with 28 mile per hour speed limiters, the electric Lambretta can boast a much more potent powertrain. The scooter will be putting to use a mid-mounted electric PMSM motor with 4 kilowatts of nominal and 11 kilowatts of peak output. The motor will be working in one of three available power modes, the most powerful of which unlocks 190 pound-feet of torque and the 68 mile per hour top speed. The motor will draw its energy from a non-removable LFP battery with 4.6 kilowatt hours of capacity. With such battery parameters, you'll be granted up to 65 miles of riding in the lowest power setting. If you are a fan of breezy rides, the manufacturer suggests that their scooter will last for up to 38 miles at a continuous speed of 50 miles per hour. In order to get you back on the road as fast as possible, Lambretta introduced a fast charging system that can restore up to 80% of the charge in about 35 minutes. In case of home charging, you'll need to wait for 5 hours to get a 100% battery reading. This model will be equipped with 12-inch wheels, a double shock suspension set up in the front, a mono shock suspension with an aluminum swing arm in the rear, LED lights, and an under-seat storage area. Zeho is an uprising electric mobility brand that was created by CF Moto. Even though products by the CF Moto subsidiary are already well known on the Asian markets, the European and North American public have only gotten to know them at this year's Milan Motor Show. At their EICMA stand, Zeho displayed a production-ready AE8 scooter, as well as the futuristic magnet concept, destined to be turned into reality in the near future. Zeho AE8 is marketed as an electric alternative to 250cc scooters. It is motivated by a mid-mounted, liquid-cooled motor with 12.5 kilowatts of peak output and 160 pound-feet of torque. When combined with a 69-volt, 33-amp-hour dual-battery system, this powertrain shows 0 to 30 miles per hour acceleration time of 2.6 seconds and the maximum riding speed of 60 miles per hour. The official range estimations for this model are 75 miles on a charge. AE8 is equipped with an adjustable rear shock absorber with rebound damping, Maxxis sport tires, Brembo brake calipers, and Bosch dual-channel ABS. The technological package is strong with this one too. You are treated with a super-fast charging system that can get from 0 to 80% in 2 hours, have an access to a cruise control, GPS tracking, keyless proximity unlock technology, smart central lock, push assistance, and over-the-air software updates. All the available features can be activated via a smart control app, while performance metrics can be observed on a 5-inch LCD display. Zeho Magnet Concept makes an even greater emphasis on high-tech features. Here, you'll get new lights, functional body wings, and an intelligent rider dashboard that uses front and rear high-definition cameras to provide cutting-edge driving assistance. In terms of performance, Zeho Magnet is said to accelerate from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, offers the maximum speed of 93 miles per hour, and has the riding autonomy of 125 miles in the NEDC cycle. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.